What's up you guys? Welcome back to another quad vlog. I hope you guys all had a great past week with it being Easter and everything like that. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon right now. It's like 65 degrees. It feels like, I don't know, it feels hotter than that though, honestly. Holy shit, there's a pothole. Anyways, it's a perfect day to come out and ride the quad. It's not too hot where my ass crack is sweating and it's not too cold where I'm freezing my balls off. So it's like ideal right now. So I'm thinking today's video is going to be a pretty short one. What I want to come out and do today is we're going to go out and figure out what the gas mileage for the Raptor 700 is. I've got quite a few comments on quite a few different videos, uh, quite a few different quad videos on the channel asking about the gas mileage for the Raptor 700. And I guess I really don't know why this question is so popular. I mean, it's a quad. I don't really think people are so concerned about gas mileage, but Nonetheless, people are curious, so that's what I want to do today is figure it out. So basically my plan today is I'm going to head to the gas station right now. I'm going to fill the tank all the way up. I have an app on my phone that's going to track the distance we travel in the next hour or so. And then I'm going to go right back to the gas station, fill the tank up to pretty much the exact level that we started at, see how much gas we use and see how much distance we travel. All right, let's go ahead and pull into this gas station right here and fill up the tank. Looks like we have another quad here. Whoop. And it looks like we got a pretty full tank already, but I'm gonna fill it up to the very top. At least I'm gonna try to. All right, that's pretty much the top. At least that's the best I can do. <laughs> I put in 80 cents worth of gas. I feel bad about that one. All right, so right now I'm gonna pull open this app that I found, I don't know, I think it's called Sport Tracker, but it just tracks the distance that we're gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that up. And we are ready to go. What is that car? That thing is weird. What is that, a Honda? I have no idea what that car is. That thing is a box though. Oh my God, dude. One thing that always sucks is whenever I'm the first one at the intersection, this four-wheeler isn't, or my motorcycle isn't enough to trip the sensors in the streets and make the light turn. So I always have to wait for another car to like, you know, come up beside me to trip the sensor to make the light turn green. Otherwise it never turns. So now that we got a full tank of gas, pretty much the only thing we have left to do is go for a cruise for like an hour and put some miles on this thing. I have the app in my pocket right now on my phone tracking our distance and I'll probably stop in a little bit just to make sure everything is working properly, but I'm sure it is. I'll give you guys a little spoiler. I actually went for a ride yesterday and did this exact same thing and uh, the results are pretty... That guy looks so confused. <laughs> So I'll tell you guys what I got yesterday and we're gonna see if we can do any better today. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So when I came out for a ride yesterday, um, I think I rode about 30 miles. I think it was like 20, I don't know, I think 25 or 26 miles, something like that. On the street, just kind of having, just kind of going for a relaxing ride really. Um, I used 0.72 gallons of gas and so it pretty much came out to like 33 I think if I'm doing my math right 33 miles per gallon which is pretty much what I was expecting before I came out to do today's video I looked online to see if I could find any other people that hey what do we got here nice um, I looked online to see what other people got Hey, <laughs> it's the same guy And so when I looked online, I couldn't really find much for people that street ride Raptor 700s. And, you know, I wasn't really surprised by that because a lot of people can't street ride Raptor 700s. However, I did find a couple people online on like the Raptor 700 forum that tried to get their gas mileage when they were trail riding, which, you know, isn't really worth much because, you know, it's the trails. You're obviously gonna get terrible gas mileage because you're going like at most like 20 miles an hour. But they managed, one guy I think went like 35 miles, 40 miles, something like that before his, um, his low fuel light came on. And if you guys know anything about the Raptor 700s, they come with like a two point, 
2.3 gallons, something like that tank. But anyways, when my low fuel light comes on, I usually can put about two gallons of gas in. So that would pretty much mean he was getting anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per gallon, which on the trails is probably pretty accurate. At any rate, we're really not concerned about the mileage that we're getting on the trails because we all know that's gonna be terrible mileage. We're gonna be getting the gas mileage that you're gonna get on the street with the Raptor 700. But I think it's fair to say that a pretty good estimate for the mileage that we can expect is double what you'd get on the trails. And that's pretty much from what I saw yesterday, what the case is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in this gas station right here and check the app to make sure it's working correctly. All right, let's go ahead and check the app. Oh, wrong pocket. All right, so the app looks like it's working pretty well. Hopefully you guys can see that. We've traveled about 17 miles so far. We've been riding for 40 minutes. I don't know, I think I'm gonna try to do about 35 miles again, like I did yesterday. But I'm gonna do the rest of it in town because I've been riding out of town for a while. So I'm, I'm guessing I've gotten pretty good mileage. It's down about an inch, so I don't know, whatever you want to call that. We've probably used like a half gallon, maybe. All right, I had to change the battery in the GoPro because it was dying. I've already been out here for like almost an hour. Oh my God, it's almost too nice of a day, I'm hot. So if any of you guys are wondering what's up with the Triumph Daytona or where I stand on whether or not I'm gonna keep it or sell it, I think I've finally made my decision after going back and forth like five different times whether or not I'm gonna keep it or sell it. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm probably gonna be selling it within, I don't know, a month or two. Uh, I'm definitely gonna make a, one more video or maybe two more videos on the bike just because <laughs> I don't know, it's my dream bike, obviously. To be honest, I just don't ride it. Like, I just don't ride it near enough. I don't give it the attention it deserves. And I feel like someone else could probably enjoy it more than me. The Triumph Daytona was always my dream bike and probably will always be my dream bike. But there's a time and a place. And basically what happened over the past few years was I, I bought the bike originally out in Rapid City, out in the Black Hills, and I had an absolute blast with it out there. And that's what I'm used to, where I'm used to riding the bike. That's where I had all my fun on that motorcycle. I have plenty of videos up on my channel, and if any of you guys watch them, you can, you'll can you see. I mean, the riding out there is just so much better. It's 10 times as fun as riding in, you know, on the east side of the state where there's pretty much just straight roads and cities. It's just not as fun. And it really sucks because I love that motorcycle. It, it runs like a top still. It only has 15,000 miles on it, but I just know that someone else can enjoy it more than me right now. So, like I said, I'll probably be lifting, listing it up for sale within a month or two, but I'll put a couple other videos up on the channel before I do end up selling the bike. I can tell you guys that for sure. All right, I've been riding around for plenty of time and what the heck, brother? Is this a Busa? That looks like a Busa to me. If I've ever seen one. Hey. Damn. See, that's about all you can do. That's about all you can do. You can just make a lot of noise and go in a straight line. Dude, she's about to slide off that thing, though. That lady on the back, she doesn't got a very big seat. Like, props to her. I'd honestly be terrified riding on a Busa <laughs> as a passenger. Oh my God, what a dick. All right, so I've been out riding for like an hour right now. I think it's time we head back to the gas station, fill up the tank, see how far we've gone, and see what kind of gas mileage we've gotten. Not trying to be a dick, but at every light, that guy like is always like sleeping. Like, shit, keep it in first, my guy, and just take off like the rest of us. All right, so here's the gas station. Let's pull in and fill the tank up. <coughs> All right, let's fill it up. Okay, what the hell, dog? What the heck is wrong with this pump, dude? Oh my god, I'm making a mess. 
All right, that's full. That's pretty much where it was filled to last time. So you used 0.9 gallons. Let's see how far we get. We went 28 miles. Oh, that's just about right then. Let's go to the calculator. 28.4 divided by 0.9. There you go. 30, let's call it 32 miles per gallon. So there you have it guys, 32 miles per gallon. Uh, today and like I said yesterday I went out and did pretty much the exact same thing and I got 33 miles per gallon So for street riding on a Raptor 700 um, we can call it about 32 to 35 ish miles per gallon I should mention what mods I have done to this quad. I have basically it's stock I'm gonna call it a stock quad, but I have a power commander. I have my airbox lit off and my exhaust baffle out so Let me go over the power commander a little uh, just real quick from the factory, I know that Raptor 700s generally come pretty lean. So right now I have this quad map to dump in a little extra fuel. So of course that's gonna make our gas mileage a little worse, but what I do have is street tires. I have street tires on the quad, and so obviously that'll probably help our gas mileage. So in my opinion, those two things with each other pretty much cancel out, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, you know, the power commander is going to give us less gas mileage and the street tires are will help our gas mileage. So don't you go, lady. So pretty much we can call it a stock quad. All right, guys, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button below. And I will see you guys next Saturday.